Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Silas the Summoner and we are playing on death mode. Last episode we defeated Leviathan and got this amazing new summon to like these little octopus monsters. And then we fought Astrum Dias by accident. I thought we were summoning Astrum Arius. We ended up doing surprisingly well for our first try on a boss we weren't prepared for. But now we've got the proper summon for Astrum Arius. So let's head that direction and summon it and get some new loot. Okay, I think we just need to switch it tonight. And let's start this up. Debuff the boss. And this one, we just need to keep moving. I used to do it where I would do like half circles above the boss, but it gets a little bit too crazy, I think. And here we go with one of my favorite songs in the game. It's an amazing song. Okay, well, it seems like we're doing pretty well here. I've used this song in so many of my lore segments. It's such a good one. Uh-oh, it's catching up to us. We gotta keep moving faster. No slowing down here. Take this guy all the way across the map. Uh-oh. We'll use our first heal there. Almost got some rage. I think I'll switch back, go the other direction. Here we go for the harder part of the song. Oh man, luckily we're pretty tanky right now because we're getting hit a lot, but we're surviving. Okay, switch it back. Use some adrenaline. Oh dear, you make the move midair. Oops, I thought I was gonna miss that one. Go ahead and heal. I think we got this. If we get him first try, this is gonna be a great start to this episode. Now what we gotta do is just get lucky and actually get the drop we were hoping for. I think he drops something actually. Either that or the material we can get after allows us to craft a new summon. And there we go. We've defeated Astrum Arius. I think we get extra mana or something from this. I always get confused though between Astrum Arius and Astrum Dias. We got the Gravity boots, we got the mask. Oh yes, we have a permanently increased adrenaline mode. It gives us 15% more damage and 5% damage reduction. So these Arya cells let us craft the Celestial Jewel, which crafts into the Astral Arcanum later on. We've got this throwing weapon. This one's fun. I remember using that a little bit with Raiden. I'm not sure if we can mine this yet. I think Astrum Dias allows us to mine this. But I think what we can get is better gear from these enemies. So let's go ahead and just farm up a bunch of them. Ooh, I think we got a staff. That's probably a summon. Oh no, it's a magic weapon. Oh, I got so excited. I don't know what we're really looking for down here. So I'm just hoping for something. Ooh, I think we just got it. The Starbuster Core. It says summons release an astral explosion on enemy hits, and it gives us one max minion more. So let's see, I think this is what upgrades later on. Once we defeat Golem, we can get Life Alloy, because we'll get our Scoria. Then we can craft the Star Tainted Generator. Well, after quite a while of farming, 
We've finally gotten our hive pod and the abandoned slime staff. This hive pod looks just like the enemy you get it from, and it seems to be a sentry. I wonder if this could actually be really good against the golem, because it's going to just stand on top of the golem and do lots of damage. The only other thing I want to do is try to get the summon that we didn't get from this boss. So let's just buy one bag at a time. Oh, we got the hallowed key. There we go, we got the summon. And I don't think they consume minion slots. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, sweet, we found the jungle temple real quick. We actually didn't really go deep in this jungle. Haven't had a real need to do it. Okay, we're likely on the other side. There we go, we found the entrance. I'm just running right through here without thinking. I don't think this Astral Slam's that good. It's kind of getting stuck. He's not landing shots. This bomb thing's doing most of the damage. Sorry, Astral Slime. You've been replaced. Gold portal? We haven't seen one of those for a while. Okay, getting pretty close to the end of this, I think. It's actually a pretty big jungle temple. Oh, wow, I almost died. I need to be much more careful here. Well, we've reached the final room and we found a danger sense potion along the way. Very helpful. So let's go ahead and just break all of these traps and then we're good to go. Oh no. Somehow I always activate one of those falling traps. I'm just gonna break everything. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried for a second that I didn't have any platforms. It looks like they've made this arena a lot bigger. I really like that Calamity doesn't just let this thing spawn on its own. Sometimes you can get some really horrible jungle temples. But it looks like they've kind of just changed the way this thing spawns entirely. Okay, I think we are good to go. Um, I'm wondering, maybe let's try to give this little slime a chance. I want to use something different. Okay, here we go. And then we can use this little attack. Seems like we're doing a little bit less damage than I was expecting, but I think they've buffed Golem a lot. Okay, maybe we'll get rid of Astral Jelly, see if we can bump our DPS with this. Oh yeah, we're doing much more DPS now. Oh man. I need to just focus on dodging, there's too many projectiles bouncing around be messing with switching weapons. Oh no, I think I'm gonna lose. Losing to Golem. So embarrassing. Yeah, I think I need to make sure to target that head because I don't think my little guys were going for the head. When the freak gets to that second platform, I gotta go back to the ground and get him down. I thought that platform would be tall enough where he couldn't climb up on it. Okay, this is when we need to target the head. That should help a lot. Yes, there we go. First heal. We need to just avoid everything now. Man, this thing is so hard to hit. Our summons it moves so quickly and sporadically. Uh-oh, taking way too many heads here. 
No, 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 no. No, no. Yeah, these things are not even able to hit him. You know, this is kind of an old weapon. It might be more consistent on the head portion of this fight. We've got to the second phase. Just gotta stay calm and collected. Does not seem to be doing much damage. Are better off with their other weapons, but as long as we stay calm and collected, we're good. We can dodge this all day if we need to. <sighs> and that golem jump is what gets me because I just don't expect them to be like in the middle of the arena. I have never had this type of struggle with Golem. working better. I'm using this staff that kind of manually casts like a mage spell, and I've got a little bit more control over it, which is nice. speak too soon, but we're doing all right. Nope, no, 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 no. Two hits in a row by Golem. Oh my gosh, did we get him? Golem was defeated, yes! We got hit by a lingering fire right after. I think that's just the thing for this character. We beat the boss and then we die. Luckily we've got jungle teleporters from the Alchemist NPC. And there we go. Pixaw. Excellent. Oh, we got the Eye of Golem. Nice. And the Shiny Stone. That's actually a pretty good group of loot there. I don't think we need to refight this boss at all. Well, I think that's a great place to end this episode. We've defeated Astrum Arius. We got a whole bunch of new summons. We also defeated Golem, and now we can mine the material from the Abyss, which means we can get Life Alloy, and there are so many upgrades with that. So stay tuned for next episode. It's going to be a fun one. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.